fast, well, Taycan, the Taycan can also be charged uh, very quickly. Up to 270 kilowatts are available for charging, so it takes five minutes only to recharge energy for up to 100 kilometers range. Ladies and gentlemen, the connection of performance and dynamism at the same time offering a, a car that's uh, perfectly usable for everyday driving, that's typically Porsche. With the Taycan, of course, we now also combine the advantages of e-mobility with emotions that are typical of sports car. So for the era of e-mobility, we've really promised a genuine Porsche, a fascinating fully electric sports car that doesn't just uh, delight people technologically and as far as driving dynamics is concerned, it's also got a soul. That's what we deliver now, soul electrified. Well, thank you, Stefan. Quite a few features are new here about the car, and still they are very typical of Porsche. The Taycan can drive on race tracks with enormous accelerations and uh, driving dynamics that's typical of sports cars. Nürburgring, 7 minutes and 42 seconds, that's what it needs for one loop. The Taycan can do long-distance drive-ins, 24 hours on the test run. Now it got to more than 3,400 kilometers, including charging, of course. Under ideal conditions, the battery charges from 5 to 80 percent in only 22 minutes. And the Ionity quick charging uh, network, when that is used, there's 100 percent natural or green power. So the Taycan doesn't just drive environmentally friendly, it's also produced in a carbon neutral way. The Taycan connects our tradition with the future, the future of a sustainability world. So the Porsche myth is continued. We are 356, 911 Spider Speedster, and the ignition lock on the left-hand side. Legends like James Dean and Steve McQueen, Porsche stands for more than 30,000 victories in motorsports, for many goosebump moments in Le Mans and at all of the big race tracks of the world. We are the daring dream of a man who followed his heart. Porsche stands for pioneer spirit, spirit and innovation. As for the 917, the 918 or the 919 hybrids, and today the Taycan. But uh, first and foremost, Porsche stands for unique people, special people. Porsche has always changed, and only because of that, Porsche has always stayed true to itself. No compromise when it came to the design. However, the Taycan, all the same, with a drag coefficient of only 0.22, really marks the top position of our present portfolio. 100% electrical, 100% emotions, and 100% Porsche. That's the most important thing. That's the Taycan, ladies and gentlemen. We actually designed it as a purely electrically driven sports car. So we got the best options of everything. So sporty without any compromises, based on our decades of experience in the development and production of sports car. Four years did we work with a great deal of passion to implement our vision of the Porsche of the future. And now you see it. It's a highly innovative fully electric uh, sports car, and at the same time, it's a genuine Porsche. And when you look at the uh, technology, the engineering of the Taycan, you will also see this. So we are the first manufacturer worldwide using 800 volts uh, electrical infrastructure, twice as much as presently used by others, and one of the basic requirements for Porsche typical driving performance and perfect charging performance. So we've got two constantly excited synchronous motors, one on each axle. They are designed for efficiency and uh, top performance under constant load and also when accelerating. The performance battery has a capacity of 93 kilowatt hours and has WLTP ranges of up to 450 kilometers. 
And we also have enormous free cooperation that helps to achieve that. Up to 265 kilowatts are recuperated electrically here with the Taycan, also with the best possible or highest driving dynamics. The deceleration is effected with a brake pedal all the time. That's efficient, that's safe, that's comfortable and convenient, and it's really aligned with a sports car. The battery, with its position in the underbody, provides for an extremely low center of gravity of the car. So actually, it's lower than in the series portion that we got at present. And of course, it's the total package that makes for the driving experience the perfect combination of powerful electric uh, motors with a performance battery and the running gear systems, the intelligent thermal management, the low center of gravity, the excellent aerodynamics and the modern four-wheel drive. So the Taycan achieves a total performance, exactly the total performance that the you know and expect of Porsche. When driving an overboost in launch control, the overall output is up to 560 kilowatts. So it only takes 2.8 seconds for the Taycan to accelerate from zero to 100. 9.8 seconds is what you need to get up to 200. The reproducibility and the consistency of the output and performance, of course, were essential objective when developing the Taycan. The extreme accelerations do not just work once or twice, but many times in sequence, right after one another, without any tangible loss in power performance. The two motors offer a maximum torque of up to 1,050 newton meters. And then we also have the very innovative rear axle two-speed transmission on the rear axle. Yeah, excellent. The first uh, speed or gear provides for maximum takeoff torque, and with the second one, you can go up to 260 kilometers per hour permanently. Let's take a look at the running gear. That's always been one of the core competences of Porsche. For the Taycan, we use electronic and mechanical running gear systems that are closely connected to each other as, for example, active stability control, rear-wheel steering, or also our three-chamber air spring. All of these functions are controlled by the central Porsche running gear controller. The sensor data are analyzed and processed in real time there. Because of the close connection of the motors and the driving or running gear systems, the four-wheel drive is particularly sensitive and fast, five times faster and more precise than conventional four-wheel drives. Thank you. 